welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. My name is Liam and I'm here with Uncle Jeffrey again. Okay, and today we're going to be making some Abbey Crunch biscuits. Liam's mum rather liked them when she tasted them last year, so we thought we'd try to make them for her today. And for that we have 140 grams of butter, which is quite soft. Mm -hmm. And into that we'll pour 140 grams of sugar. Okay. And then what we want to do is to mix that until we, it's all mixed together and a bit creamy. It will take a bit of mixing. Yeah, um, butter's tough. That's right. And while you start that, I'll have to say about the other ingredients. In this bowl, I have 140 grams of self-raising flour mixed with one teaspoon of baking soda. And here I have 100... Uh, 140 grams of self-raising flour mixed with a teaspoon of baking soda and here I have 112 grams of rolled oats I have a tablespoon 50 millilitres of milk and I'm going to use 10 millilitres of golden syrup so uh, Liam's busy creaming that together I'll just give that a little assistance for you to get all the sugar mixed in but we can help that along quite easily by the addition of the milk. Yes, yeah, so it kind of adds the liquid to it. And we'll loosen it up a little bit. So I'll pour the milk in like that, and you just mix that together. And you could do this with a a hand mixer if you wanted to. That's good. So let me have a little stir of that as well for you. Just bring it all together. Just like that. That's beginning to look a bit fluffy now, isn't it? Yes. And then, what we're going to do is add 10 millilitres, which is one dessert spoon, of golden syrup. And what we'll do is push that off like that. And I'm doing that so that I get to lick the sticky finger. Right? So, maybe just a little bit more. And you mix that together as well. together I've put the flour and baking soda and the rolled oats into this bowl and just stir them to get them combined okay so let me have a little Whisk around with that. And then we're going to pour this in there. Ah, it makes a nice white powder. And we're going to mix them all together again. Okay, so that's about ready, I think. And what we have to do is to roll this into balls. We have our oven preheated um, to uh, 150 Fahrenheit, uh, sorry, 150 Celsius, 350, 300 Fahrenheit. And what we're going to do is to take some of this, like this, roll it into a ball and place it on the tray and just push it down a little bit. Okay. And we'll get about 12 on there, I think. And then we'll do um, 12, we'll do these ones, and then we'll do another 12 afterwards. But what we do is 
put them. See what happens is they will spread when they cook. Oh, so yes. we leave a gap yeah, we between them, them right? Yes. So there's a ball that you can work on. Just okay, one second. But we want them about the rough, the same size each time if we can. Not that it matches too much. And you do one more, and I do one more. So we can fill up the tray. And I think these we're making these slightly bigger than um, you can do, but that's fine because they taste so lovely. The bigger the better, is what some people yeah. say. There we go. Good. So here we have uh, 12, and we're going to bake those for 25 minutes until they're uh, nice and uh, golden brown. And uh, they may dome slightly on the top, but if they do, you can just press them down with a spatula, um, or when you take them out of the oven, you just press them down slightly and they'll harden up once they come to rest. So we'll be back with you when we bake these and the remaining, the remaining dough and we'll show you the results. Okay, so we have our second batch of cookies in the oven now. Uh, we've taken these out and as you can see we use some rather large oats. You can use slightly smaller, the, the quick oats are fine. But these smell wonderful. So Liam, why don't you try one? Okay. It should be nice and chewy and yes. firm. As you can see, you can see um, all the ingredients are inside and it's nice and crispy. Mm. These are, this is one of the best cookies ever. Do you think so? Yes. I think I better eat that half then. Mm. That is very nice. Mm, turned out well. So that's it for today. We've baked our Happy Crunch Biscuits. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give us the thumbs up below the video and click on the subscribe button. And as ever, in the top left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see an eye where you can get the menu. Um, and I'll be with you again when I get back to England with some more videos. So until then, happy baking. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.